remember those walls of field Baby, they're tumbling down They didn't even put up a fire it's been a hot minute um happy monday my loves i told myself you're going to grab the camera today because i feel like it's been forever since we've spoken but as per usual i'm about to head out i'm gonna go meet two clients i'm gonna try to record some of it because i've recorded when i teach classes but never when i train clients at least i don't think so i don't but anyways um let me go and then we'll come back and catch up because i want to share some stuff with you guys so talk to you guys in a little bit home and I'm about to eat breakfast and I decided I should do a full day of eating for three reasons one I love full day of eatings because because it helps me stay accountable Two, I love watching other vloggers do them so if I like watching it I assume that you guys like watching it too and the third reason is because today I'm starting a new challenge I will speak more about that after I eat but first let's see what's about to go in this belly mm -mm -mm. I'm excited about this it is little breakfast burritos it has onions peppers egg whites cheese my favorite salami then i use this reduced carb whole wheat flour tortillas from trader joe's i picked these up yesterday when i was there the macros on these are pretty good let's see if it focuses let's see yes it is 45 calories 1.5 fat carbs 10 but then the fiber is 7 and 4 grams of protein so i think that's pretty good i'm excited I'm excited to eat. Focus. All right, whatever. All right, I will talk to you guys after I'm done stuffing me face. Bye. So I'm sitting here watching a sexual harassment video. They're doing some new thing in New York, and every job that I have, because I teach in a lot of different places or train, I have to watch a stupid sexual harassment video, and then I have to take a test at the end of it. It is so annoying, and each one has a different one. Like I guess they hire someone to create it for each company it's so annoying but i decided like i need a break from this because whatever so i wanted to talk to you guys I, I did mention it right that i'm doing a new challenge and it's a it's called the 30 day mindful eating project basically black iron nutrition which is started by chris chrissy cagney did i say her name right i met her like two or three years ago um she has a company called black iron nutrition and ashley beaver works for the company she is uh, i believe i want to say she's a health coach a nutritionist i'm not sure if she's a nutritionist but anyways i've been following her as well on social media she always has amazingly delicious recipes um anyways i get sidetracked really easily they're doing this thing it's called a 30 day mindful eating project i think the official day was 11 19 i think it started but i was like i kind of want to start after thanksgiving because 
that way I have like those 30 days between like Thanksgiving and Christmas to be like more conscious of what I'm eating and like I what I like is every day it has like a different prompt for the day it has like a writing prompt I'll put it up here so you guys can see it it has a writing prompt and then it has also mindful eating task for the day so today's day one and the writing prompt is when you think about food what do you want it to do for your mind your body and deeply at your core and then the mindful eating task for the day is eat three well-balanced home-cooked meals i like this like i think it's really especially around the holiday time like we mind we don't mindfully eat or we just grab something and go and like we're so busy with what's going on around us that we don't sit down and take a moment to really acknowledge what we're doing and what we're putting in our body so yeah i'm excited but i'll put the link below if you guys want it it's free which is awesome it is free it has like i have it can you guys see it it's oh you could you could actually you can see it right there like there's different prompts for every day but yeah i'm excited i just like i always say this i just like doing new things like it just keeps it interesting it keeps me focused so yeah so that's what i'm gonna do but I have to get back to this video. Ah, it's so annoying. The questions are so... I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. This is Constitute Home Cooking because I'm about to make some Trader Joe's pumpkin soup with Trader Joe's multi-grain crackers in one, two, three. Perfection. This is the perfect lunch, honestly, because it is chilly. Like, the wind is crazy. So this is going to hit the spot. Hey loves, it is now Wednesday afternoon. Um, the last time that we spoke, it was Monday afternoon and I was doing a full day of eating. And the last time we spoke, I think I was having lunch. Um, but after I recorded that, a couple of hours later, my sister FaceTimed me and she told me the worst thing that I think I would ever hear in my life, which was that my niece got hit by a car. Um, thankfully, she doesn't have any broken bones, but the impact was so bad that she flipped, her sneakers and her socks came off. She got her earbuds stuck in her ear. Um, try not to get emotional she has stitches she has um, lacerations a concussion but thankfully she's home now um, but if you guys have been reading my blog or watching my vlogs you know that home fries is like my child like she means the world to me she is the person that I speak to every single day multiple times a day like we can FaceTime each other like a hundred times a day and it's still not enough um, but I am so grateful that things weren't any worse. I hate to see her in pain. After my sister called me, I FaceTimed her instinctively and she was in the wheelchair and she had the earbud stuck and her ear was so red and she was crying and saying, I looked both ways, I looked both ways and it just broke my heart because it was a block away from her school she had the right of way to walk and this lady ran the red light and hit her so that's that that's what's going on um so today was it's wednesday and i was teaching yoga and whenever i teach my class i always ask my students to set an intention for their practice or send love to someone they know or someone that they don't know and i was like today i'm going to be selfish and i'm going to ask you guys to send love out to my niece and send her healing prayers because she needs it right now and i just want her to be better like a hundred times better like even when i facetime her now and i see her ear it breaks my heart so yeah but um i don't even know i don't even know what to say but um this is a shitty vlog. Sorry, but like I said, I taught yoga today. It was weird because they're recording videos at my gym, so the studio was closed off. So I couldn't teach my classes. I teach TRX and yoga on Wednesdays. So I had to teach my classes on this turf, what we use for personal training. 
and it's in the middle of the gym floor by all the weight machines and I told my students like this is what yoga means like putting out the outside distractions I actually recorded some of it so I'll put it here um, like we have to put the outside distractions out and just focus on your body on the mat and I'm like and that's how you know like you're a true yogi because you have perfect control of the mind so at first I was very hesitant to teach this class I'm like how am I going to teach yoga they're not going to feel the benefits of it but honestly it was a pretty good class like my students they're my regular students so they were able to zone out and just focus on their breath focus on their asanas and just drown out the outside noise so that was awesome and it just felt good to be around my people um, I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here um, so what do we have in this vlog we have a full day somewhat of eating I have a little bit of workout in the beginning and just a sitting down ramble but um i'm just gonna ask you guys to pray for my niece please 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 sense her healing vibes and yeah as always my loves thank you so much for watching and namaste bye